Hey YouTube, welcome to the IPv4 Subnet Mastery video series. This video is the keystone of the series. In video 3, we will learn how to use a cheat sheet to solve subnetting problems. These are the seven attributes of subnetting. Every subnetting question will require you to solve for one or more of these seven items. If you want to know what each of these items are, please check out the first video in this series. This is the subnetting cheat sheet. We will use this table to solve any subnetting problems. If you want to know the three steps to create this table, please check out video 2. In this video, we will show you how to use the cheat sheet to solve all seven attributes for any combination of IP address and mask in 60 seconds or less. Our first example problem will be 10.1.1.55-28. We will find all seven attributes for this IP and mask. We will start by learning how to quickly convert from Saturn notation to subnet mask. Our example problem provided a CIDR notation of slash 28. We will use that to find our column in the cheat sheet. Since we were given a slash 28, this puts us in this column. Within our column, the CIDR row will map to the subnet row. The CIDR notation slash 28 will map to the subnet value of dot 240, which means our subnet mask will be 255.255.255.240. Next, we will locate the group size. For our problem, with a slash 28, the group size will be 16. Then we will start at dot zero and continue incrementing by the group size until we pass the target IP. So we will have dot zero, dot 16, dot 32, dot 48, dot 64. And at this point, we've passed our target IP of dot 55. The dot 55 would exist somewhere between these two numbers. What we just did was the hardest part. From here, we can simply fill out the remaining attributes. The number before our target IP is our network ID. This makes our network ID 10.1.1.48. The number after our target IP is our next network. This makes our next network 10.1.1.64. The IP address before our next network is our broadcast IP. This makes our broadcast IP 10.1.1.63. Just like that, we were able to easily solve for three more of the seven attributes. Solving for the last three will be just as easy. To find our first host IP, simply add one to the network ID. If .48 was our network ID, then our first host must be 10.1.1.49. To find the last host IP, simply subtract one from the broadcast IP. If .63 was our broadcast IP, then our last host must be 10.1.1.62. Finally, the number of IP addresses is very easy. The number of IP addresses is the same as the group size. For our slash 28, the number of IPs is 16. Keep in mind, this is the total number of addresses. Remember that the network ID and the broadcast IP are not usable addresses. So if you're trying to solve for the number of usable addresses, don't forget to subtract two. For our slash 28, we would have 14 usable addresses. We will run through the same process with another example problem. This time, we'll solve for all seven attributes for the IP and mask 10.1.1.37-29. As before, we'll start with converting between CIDR and mask. We were provided a slash 29. We will use that to determine that we are in this column. A CIDR and subnet mask rows map to each other, so we know that a slash 29 maps to dot 248, which gives us a subnet mask of 255.255.255.248. Then we will locate our group size, which for this problem will be 8. As before, we will start with dot zero and increment by the group size until we pass the target IP. Dot zero, dot eight, dot sixteen, dot twenty-four, dot thirty-two, dot forty. We've now passed the target IP, so we can stop there. Dot thirty-seven will exist somewhere in here. Once again, this was the hard part. From here, we can just fill everything in. The number before our target IP is our network ID. This makes our network ID 10.1.1.32. The number after our target IP is our next network. This makes our next network 10.1.1.40. The IP address before our next network is our broadcast IP. This makes our broadcast IP 10.1.1.39. To find the first host IP, we simply add one to the network ID. If dot 32 was our network ID, then our first host IP must be 10.1.1.33. .1 .1 
To find our last host IP, simply subtract one from the broadcast IP. If dot .39 was our broadcast IP, then our last host must be 10.1.1.38. Finally, our group size was 8, therefore our total number of IP addresses was also 8. As before, if we were trying to find the usable number of addresses, we would simply subtract 2. There you have it. That is the process to solve for all 7 attributes using the cheat sheet. As with anything, this will take some practice. The next video in the series provides 4 more practice examples. Two of them will be easier prompts, and the other two will be a little trickier. Once you've watched both video 3 and video 4, you'll have a solid understanding of the process, and you'll be that much closer to becoming a subnetting master.